Hello, welcome back to PLSQL tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we will continue to discuss the last part of the exception handling. So, essentially, what we, are, what we discussed uh, before is that there are two types of exception. One is implicit, which Oracle will automatically raise. Another is explicit, which user needs to raise. And there are two types of implicit. One is predefined Oracle server error. And another thing is that you have to define yourself by using pragma init exception. Right? So, so these two we have already discussed in our previous videos. So now let's try to see why we need user defined exception. All right. So basically PLSQL gives you ability to define to define your exception and raise the exception when you need. Okay. So what we have seen like in case of implicit exception Oracle will automatically raise that exception when it hits a particular error right so that is what we have you know two types of exception one is predefined another is non predefined well so in predefined uh, PLSQL exception you don't have to declare anything it's just there are 20 to 21, 20, 20 plus uh, normal errors are being trapped by using predefined exception which Oracle does it automatically. But whereas for other errors you have to declare an exception and you associate that exception to a particular error and whenever that error will occur Oracle will automatically raise that exception. However the other type of exception that we are discussing right now is explicit exception or we call it user defined exception. Okay. So in this case, what you do? First thing that you declare and then you raise the exception based on some condition and you handle the exception. Okay. The main difference between these two category of exception and this category of exception is that it will not automatically be raised. You have to raise it the user have to raise it depending on particular condition. So let's take an example how we are going to do that. In this case this is a sample code where we are selecting salary into a variable called v underscore sal for a particular employee number. Then we declare an exception that exception name is called e underscore high underscore sal with exception. Right. The said the same way that you declare a variable, you declare an exception in line number five, that e underscore high underscore cell is exception. Then what you are trying to do here, in line number ten, we have an if condition. If the v cell is more than two thousand, then raise this exception. Okay, by a keyword called raise. Okay, by using this keyword raise, we raise this exception in line number 11. So what happens in line number 11? When you raise this exception, the control goes directly to the exception block and try to find out if there is a handler written something called e underscore high underscore sal. Indeed, we have written something called e underscore high underscore sal in this thing. Hence, the control is going to resume from this line onwards. Okay, so this is how we raise. So basically, this is this is the example of a user defined exception. We define this here and we raise it here. However, you can always argue that why you are doing using this uh, exception when this kind of logic can be very easily done using just if block. So if by using this if block, you can just say this. You know, basically the, the goal here is to print this output put line that salary is already high. So therefore, I don't want to give you any hike, right? So if that is a logic, then you can always handle that part of logic by using if and else block. Then why are you doing exception? You know, using this exception mechanism. Well, in this simple example, it's fine to have a if and else condition. However, by when the things are a little bit complex, uh, com uh, no, complicated using multiple begin and end block it makes sense to use this technique and also I just want to tell you like you don't really need to raise an exception and all this thing you can always handle the code 
by using a if and else statement but what this exception user defined exception gives you a ability to write an elegant maintainable code okay so what why don't you just take some more example how this happen so let's take this this is an example here what we have done we have a begin and end block and this is the inner block the inner block and we have an outer block okay so what I do we raise an exception a so whenever it's whenever we raise an exception a it goes and try to find out the exception handler of that inner block and see if we have an hand handler yes indeed we have a handler because we have written when a right so if you since when a therefore this exception handled here and then the execution now complete for this begin and end block and the control moves to the next uh, block next ex execution part of the next begin and end so in this case like you know if you want to do this if and else if like you know, for example whatever we have here again like you, know, you have you have to make another if and else right so this is kind of not elegant so by using this res you just go directly to this basically you control uh, instead of basically you do, like you know in you do not have to you know traverse to this piece of code just immediately go to this point okay so that is what you know the salary hike whatever example if the salary is high then just exa exit out from here and then do it somewhere else okay this is one example this is one like you know multiple thing multiple uh, begin and end and that's what is 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 gives you this ability to move let's take one more example same block but for if the value of x is equal to 2 then we are raising b but if we raise b then we would like to see in the exception block of this begin and end try to see if you have a handler b unfortunately you do not have any handler b then what is going to happen the exception is going to propagate to the next block so next block means this is a you know the outer outer block begin and end then it is going to try to see if we have an handler in that begin and end block there should be an exception block if we have a handler and in fact we have a handler therefore in this case when b we are going to execute this piece of code and then exit out of this end loop so so in this in, in this example we propagate the exception to the outer block and we handle that exception in the outer block okay, so here is another example in this example we are raising c right if you are raising c look we do not have any exception handler for c in the in the in the inner block then we move and try to see if the outer block has an exception handler actually it doesn't have anything for c so therefore in this case the program will exit with error okay so here is the idea the reason that i want to show you all this thing is to appreciate by using this user defined exception how clearly you are moving from one to another block that would not have been possible just by writing if and else block because if and else block will always going to make sure that you no know, if you want to write an if else block then still we're going to continue okay we'll continue the logic okay so that is where whenever we have you know so whenever we have complicated scenarios like this we can use user defined exception to get rid of this complication and write an elegant code having said that i can always write instead of user defined exception even whatever the code clumsiness and whatever the co you, know, you know whatever bad code it is but still by just can by putting this if and else condition i can still continue to write without using user defined exception so now let's do a quick summary of exception handling so we have two types of exception one is implicit that is oracle will do you don't have to do anything oracle will automatically raise the exception and there are out of this implicit there are two types of implicit, implicit exceptions one is predefined oracle server errors that means whatever frequently occurring errors oracle has already defined an exception declared an exception and then i will raise that exception you just need to do just handle that exception properly example two underscore many underscore rows that means if your if your select statement is going to give you more than one row and you are trying to insert trying to select into a variable a scalar variable then in that case this is going to give me too many row exception so what i need to write i need to write in the exception block i need to have something called two underscore when two underscore many underscore rows 
and then I write the statements. So in that case, the block, you know, the, the 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 control is going to come to the when too many rows, and then going to be executed. Well, so these are the these are the 20 plus or 20 to 25 exception that is handled like this. But there are still many other errors can come, which Oracle didn't give you a predefined set of exceptions. So in that case, what you do, you declare an exception declare and then you associate that exception to a particular error number then whenever that error will occur while executing the PLSQL statements Oracle will automatically raise that exception and then your control is going to go to the exception handling block in that exception handling block however whatever you declare you write you need to do when that exception whatever your exception name that exception then some statement so this is where you declare so in explicit ex ex exception where user defined exception we also call in that case we declare an exception e1 and then we don't need to associate with anything by just if and else condition we can raise that exception and we need to have a handler to handle that exception so guys this is all about exception handling i hope you have understood this thing properly